Hello friends. Today I am recording a video in the park to talk to you about the most disgusting and toxic behavior that some women exhibit in relationships. I'm sure most of you have encountered this and made mistakes with women like this. You may have had a girlfriend who constantly had someone hitting on her on Instagram, social media, or in person. She would always tell you about it, how her colleagues, classmates, and exes would approach her and want something from her. She would brush them off and claim she didn't know anything about it, rejecting them harshly. This is because I am loyal, but deep down you feel that something is not right. You are constantly on edge and naive men often think that it's just because she is so charming and attractive, and everyone wants to compete for her. But she is with me, which makes me proud. However, the reality is completely different. These women create the conditions and circumstances for men to show interest in them. And when this happens, in most cases, she either rejects them or pretends to reject them, trying to show the man how she handled the situation. She wants to prove that she is desirable. But in reality, it's all hypocritical. I realized this when I was around 20 or 21 years old and had been in relationships with different women of varying attractiveness. I was surprised to see that sometimes an attractive woman doesn't attract this kind of attention. No one approaches her, everything goes smoothly. On the other hand, there are women who are nothing but trouble. It's not about attractiveness. I noticed this correlation. When I started counseling people, I realized that this is a common thing. It reminded me of a story from my youth when I was around 13 or 14 years old. Our group of friends went out and one of them dropped his phone. We had a knacker guy in our group Steve. He picked it up and said, I could have taken it. But I will give it back if you want. We're friends, right? The point is, let's think about why he did that, why he betrayed the value of friendship for a phone. He acted against his nature in that situation. What conclusions can we draw about a person like that? How will he act in other, more convenient circumstances? The same applies to these women. If a woman constantly tells you that someone approached her, gave her their number, and all the other things she does, but you don't see how she behaves outside of the relationship, when you're not together, she is definitely provoking men. She is giving them verbal and non-verbal signals that it's acceptable and she enjoys the attention. And when she proudly tells you about it, it's an opportunity for her to increase her value, for you to compete more for her, and for her to appear as a benefactor. But in reality, there is no care for you. Your internal feelings have always been disregarded. If you find yourself in such a situation, the best solution is to end the relationship. There is a golden rule for good relationships, never fight for them. You should naturally fit into a good relationship. There is a fundamental difference. Those with more experience have probably encountered situations where a woman on Instagram writes with the intention of getting to know you, but then says she can't because she has a boyfriend. But the fact that she initiated the conversation with a stranger already shows her interest in him. When a woman is not interested, she won't respond or even read the message. 
it's complete indifference. But if you fall for it, they will easily deceive you and tell you that they are just expressing their emotions or that they are friendly. Men often misunderstand and misinterpret their behavior. If you choose to be deceived, it will happen easily, and they will help you with that. But know in advance that such relationships will end sadly. These women always move on to someone else. It's easy to identify this preference in women. For example, if she tells you that someone approached her and you ask why she didn't introduce herself, she will be at a loss for words. You will realize that something is not right. The same goes for endless stories about meeting people in person. Just ask her, what do you want me to do with this information, and she won't be able to give a clear answer. So, if this happens once in a relationship, you can consider it a coincidence. But I'm talking about a pattern that many of you have encountered. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest uploads. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on any of our exciting videos. If you've just subscribed, we would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below saying, I subscribed, and let us know what you liked about the video or what other topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Thank you for being a part of our community. We look forward to bringing you more great content in the future. Happy watching!